What's up, Car Audio Champions? Today we're checking out a mini four-channel amplifier. This is the JFA Brazilian 400 times 4 AP. So this is a really small full-bridge amplifier, kind of similar to the Sound Digitals, the Teramps, Stetsums, etc. Now the weird thing is, is this says on the listing, and I'll put a link in the description where you can buy it, it says buy Sound Digital. So they're kind of advertising that it's made by Sound Digital. So this is rated at 100 times 4 at 2 ohms, 63 times 4 at 4 ohms, and then 200 times 2 at 4 ohm. So we'll test that here in a minute and see if that's accurate. I do like the way this one looks more than the other similar micro four channels. Um, the only thing on this, it does have these dip switches that are kind of confusing in the middle. And what those do is those change your times one or times 10 on your crossovers. So times one on the 20 hertz would be 20. And if you click it to times 10, that would be 2000. So that's what those dip switches are. And then you just have your high low pass crossovers. This is water cooled, they say. They don't give much information about it, but those caps on the end just go completely through the amplifier. You can, I guess, screw in some kind of water cooler. And they have them on this side too. And they're just straight through holes that go through the heat sink. And there is this cover that you put on, and it's just kind of a beauty cover. And we'll take that off here and I'll show you guys. So it does have a power protect light under there which I'm sure when the cover's on, you won't be able to see it. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But it has all the typical connections that all these little micro full bridge amplifiers have. But we'll go ahead and get it hooked up and then see what this puts out. See if it's any better or has any benefit than all the other ones out there. And I will put a link in the description if you guys want to check this amplifier out. All right, so we're going to start with the forum four channel certified test. This runs up to 1% THD, and this amp is only two ohm stable in four channel mode. And the specs say 63 times four. So that's the number we're looking for. Okay, and we didn't make it. Looks like we got 41 watts times four at four ohm. So it did fall a little short of the 63 there. So maybe it'll hit it uncertified, which is all the way up to clipping. And since this is a full range amplifier, we are running these tests at 1000 Hertz. So let's see if it'll do the 63 Watts uncertified. And no, it did not. Pretty much identical to the certified reading. So, hmm, not sure so far. Definitely 63 watts. That's that's about 30% under. So let's go ahead and do some dynamic bursts. Some manufacturers rate their wattage dynamically. So maybe that's the case. And no, still sticking right at about 42, 43 watts. Still not bad for an amplifier that costs $60. Um, and you know, that's more than enough power to run a normal system with four door speakers, but definitely didn't do rated power. So let's go ahead and get ready for the two ohm test, which now this is supposed to do 100 times four 2 ohm. So we'll see if that even comes close. Looking for 100 watts. And it did not do it. I'm starting to see a pattern here. About 72 watts times 4 at 2 ohm. So definitely not doing what the specs say. Let's go ahead and get uncertified, ready to go here. All right, uncertified. 
Looking for 100 watts. Will it do it? Not sure. No, it will not. And again, let's see if it'll do it dynamically. I'm not sure if it will or not. Not, not too sure what to think about this one. Wow. So yeah, it definitely did not. It's just 75 watts dynamic four channel at two ohm. It's still not bad. Still not bad, you know, but it definitely didn't put out what it said in the specs. I mean, the amp is staying pretty cool. It's pretty compact. So then we're going to try bridged mode because this amp is able to run two channels, but it's only four ohm stable at two channels. So now this is rated at 200 watts times two. So we'll see how it does in bridged two channel mode. And so far the efficiency doesn't seem that great. I'll put a list at the end of the efficiency and the outputs. All right, is it gonna do it? No, didn't quite do it, but we got 150 times two at four ohm. Not too bad. Definitely not the 200. Let me reset everything and then we'll try uncertified up to clipping. Not a bad amplifier for the price. I just think, you know, I don't really see any benefit over a tear amps or the Stetsums or all the other amplifiers out there because they're pretty much all the same price. Although this one does look a little nicer in my opinion. Mm, only a couple, maybe a couple watts more. This amp really does the same output between certified and uncertified. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It just means it's putting out clean power. It's not putting out anything basically above 1% THD, which, which is a good thing. Let's try some dynamic burst. See if it'll get anything over 150 dynamically. Let's cross our fingers, y'all. Oh, man. Nope. Doesn't look like it's going to do it. This thing virtually put out the same power on every impedance, four channel and bridged. So here's the result charts. Since this amp did virtually the same power, uncertified, certified, and dynamic, I didn't bother listing all those. So in four channel, four ohm, we did 40, 41 watts. 4 channel 2 ohm, 72 watts, and bridged 2 channel at 4 ohm, 150 times 2. And the efficiency was right around 60%, which is not the greatest, but definitely not the worst, but it is on the low side for sure. So there you have it. And as far as the amp goes, it never went into protect. It never got warm, so it seems like it will be a reliable amp. I'm just not sure if there's any benefit over the Stetsum, Teramps, PRV, Tempano, the other ones like this out there that are about the same price. It almost comes down to, I think, looks, which one looks better to you because they're all about the same price. But if you guys were checking out this amp, I hope this video helped you. I will put a link in the description below if you want to check this out. If you guys like the content, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, but let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know if you guys have any suggestions of any amps you guys want to check out. I can't do them all, but I always like to know what you guys are interested in. That helps me kind of decide what videos I'm going to do next. But, you know, for 60 bucks, not too bad for a little tiny four-channel amplifier that you can fit. Man, you could fit this in your glove box, motorcycle, or whatever. I will say the manual is really good on this amp better than the other ones. So I'm going to put pictures of the manual on at the end in case you guys want to check that out because it is a really nice manual, which is helpful sometimes because a lot of these Brazilian amps come with really bad manuals that don't have anything in them. But all right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.